Angry Guy here. And today we're discussing why modern women have done irreparable harm to men. Today we're discussing why modern women have done irreparable harm to men. What do I actually mean? Well, first, let's look at this article, right? <laughs> and uh, the article I want to discuss is uh, actually discussing how modern women today have uh, not only d damaged themselves, but damaged men, but also themselves. So, for example, let's check out this article. We need to protect women from the woke violence against women act. And basically... It says that, you know, the legislation gave women seeking assistance the critical resources they need and a way forward to better life. It started in 1994. Now, instead, radical gender activists have sought to allow anyone who identifies as a woman to enter a shelter and women-only space. Women are no longer prioritized in the Violence Against Women Act. At the very least, they deserve some transparency. Now, why do I say women have done irreparable harm? To men, because it's true. It is absolutely true. Women, their actions in modern day society have harmed, significantly harmed the psyche of men. A lot of men today can no longer have a relationship with a woman. They can no longer peer bond with a woman. They no longer trust women. You have guys who don't want to go to the gym anymore because they're afraid of being accused of harassment. Women walk around in New York City literally seeking attention, trying to see how many guys will stare at them as they film it and then use it as a means of claiming harassment or literally just trying to show just how pretty they are. It has become a cesspool of degeneracy. The rights of men have been essentially trampled upon. Men psychologically can't take anymore. That's why so many guys now have deleted themselves or have completely withdrawn from society. That's why men are walking away from society, walking away from relationships, from dating, from modern day society saying, we don't want to have anything to do with it anymore. One of the unfortunate and sad things about this is the fact that for a lot of guys, there's no moving forward. There's no such thing as going over to the Philippines or going to the Dominican Republic or a country, another country, and finding someone that they trust and they believe in that they can settle down with and have a family with. You have to understand a lot of men no longer trust. They can no longer trust, and they can no longer peer bond. And this has happened as a result of the psychological warfare that women, modern women as a group, have instituted against men. And it's amazing. It's truly amazing how people will quickly rush to them and say, no, not modern women, the feminists. Blame the feminist." Here's what's very interesting. Someone was trying to argue in the comments of one of my polls that not all women are feminist. And then later on, they came back to the same poll and apologized and said, I'm sorry, I was wrong. And they posted a link to an article from 2020 that showed 61% of women identify as feminist and say that feminism properly identifies them, properly represents them and their beliefs. 61%. That was back in 2020. What do you think it's like three years later? Because we don't have those numbers. But it's very likely that those numbers have increased. One thing that we can note right now is that Gen Z men are becoming more conservative but ironically, Gen Z women are becoming more liberal. So, 
when it comes to liberalism among women, it's actually increasing and it's increasing rapidly. Men today are tired. Men and boys are exhausted. They can't do this. For guys that have gone through so much, have, have, have gone through this for the last 20 years, they can't do it anymore. You know, I look at this guy that passed away. He was an MGTOW, and, you know, he he basically decided that he wasn't going to have a relationship, and he lived, he lived that monk lifestyle for, I believe, it was over 20 years. No marriage, no dating, no children, completely away from women. And he developed cancer. It was like stage four colon cancer, and he passed away. You know, and I've talked about him once or twice before, but it's just unbelievable. And a lot of guys now are in this boat where they can no longer pair bond. And those of you listening, you know who you are. You know, a lot of guys will tell you I have that they have zero interest of ever being in a relationship ever again. They will not do it. You have guys sitting there making over a million dollars a year that will not get into a relationship. It doesn't matter how wonderful the woman is. It doesn't matter if she's in another country. It doesn't matter if she's fit, feminine, or friendly. They will not get into a relationship. They will not date. They will not marry. They will not have children. These men don't want to have anything to do with the opposite sex. They don't want, they literally, and it's not a matter of hatred. There's no hate there. They literally don't want to have anything to do with, do with them because they can, no, they can no longer pair bond. They have no trust and they have no interest because they don't want the stress. And it's like, after everything that's happened, it's turned them off so much. I know guys, I know guys, and they come, you know, they're in the U.S. They can't even, you know, they can't even get it up anymore. And it's not because, it's not because they have ED. It's not because they have erectile dysfunction. Oh, no. They literally are, have lost their attraction. Like, they can't do it anymore. Like, they literally feel nothing anymore. Nothing. And modern-day women don't care. They're going to keep pushing and pushing and then pushing some more. You know, look at what happened with Brickgate. You know, where you had this woman who made up a story about some guy and a brick that never actually happened. And she used the story to get over $40,000 in donations on GoFundMe. And it's only one of her many scams. And you had women who were coming out and saying that these men that were there, they should have protected her. They should have stood up for her. The story was an entire lie. But you had feminists rushing to her defense saying that these men are good for nothing and they should have acted like men. We're not saying that you had to go and fight this guy, but you should have stood up and told him to back off. And excuse me, but she's a strong, independent woman. Why are they getting themselves involved? Keep in mind, the whole thing was make up, made up. None of it was true. But the fact of the matter is that they believed that men are supposed to go and risk their lives. I read an article where women argued, a woman was arguing against the draft, saying that men, women should have a choice to decide whether or not they want to serve in the military, while men have an obligation to protect the country. It is an obligation to surrender your life for the country, while women should have a choice. And it's unbelievable. It's like our humanity has been ripped away from us. And the SIMPs, they can't stop. These guys can't control themselves, all right? They will never control themselves. But you have to understand, these are low-value guys. These are the low-value guys. These are the guys that are on only fools, paying tons of money, you know, paying, paying, paying out of the butt, you know, to watch, to watch these, 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 these people, you know, these people, these low value women on only fools degrading themselves, right? 
it's just sad and disgusting. But then, guys, that it's no wonder, you know. You know, this is why modern modern women have done irreparable harm to men psychologically. A lot of guys cannot get past this. And there's some people who will start talking about God. God can get you past anything. You need to spend some time to, time with God. What you need to do is spend some time with yourself and spend some time with God. And what these women don't comprehend and what some of these SIMPs don't comprehend is that you have a lot of men that are perfectly happy to spend all the time in the world with themselves and with God, but they have no interest in spending any of the, that time with a woman. And they never, ever will again. The damage that has been done to men is for to a love is irre, is irreparable. Because it is, you have so many guys that are now living with PTSD, trauma, fear. They've had the literal masculinity ripped out of them. Where men are afraid to express themselves as masculine. And then you have these women now saying that they don't want to date the typical liberal guy anymore. Because the typical liberal guy does not, it does not have any masculinity. But the problem is that the only guys that have any masculinity left are conservative men, and they don't want those. It's like they can't seem to see that you can't have one without the other. In other words, they call a guy who doesn't want his lady going out and dressing in an extremely revealing clothing, you know, as a conservative. That's ridiculous. That's an abs that's absolutely ridiculous. The way a lot of modern day women dress today, it's not like the 60s or even the 70s when women wore mini skirts. The kinds of things that these women are wearing today are just downright unbelievable. It's like like what the heck are you wearing? And it's like, it, it doesn't even make them attractive. It's like, who are you doing this for? This looks absolutely terrible. Like, have some self-respect and decency. But then when you check out Kim Kardashian, who's basically their idol and their role model, she has no decency and self-respect. I mean, all you have to do is Google her, and you can immediately find pictures of her in various states of undress, including completely undressed. And it's like, you know, what, what are your children going to think, Kim? Like, you're all over the internet, and you're proud of it. And it's, it's sickening. It's extremely sickening and disgusting. And it's sad. It's so sad to realize that a lot of guys can never come back from this. And again, that's when you hear these people, you can come back from anything. You can do anything. A lot of guys cannot come back from this, nor do they want to. They are done. For every guy listening to this video right now, there are those who will maybe even leave comments saying, I don't want to have anything to do with women ever again. I don't want to date. I have no hatred. I have no anger towards them. I just don't want to be in a relationship with them. In fact, there are some guys who don't want to have anything to do with anyone. They just want to walk away. There are men walking away from Western society, culture, everything, relationships, dating, even other men in some cases. They are going full out hermit and they just want to live their lives. These are men who have money, they have their savings. And they are perfectly happy with living their lives by themselves, you know. And sometimes they have friends and they have family, but they are not getting into any intimate, deep relationships. And you've got guys like this who are now in their 60s and they've made it very clear they're not going anywhere. They're not going to change. And, you know, women can keep, all women know how to do is shame men, call them crybabies, cry wimps, losers, or, you know, other derogatory terms I don't want to say. And it's just absolutely insane. 
It's like they have they have zero self control, and the moment they get called out on it, you know, the moment that they have to fess up to it or own up to it, like they're like, oh, I don't want to be a part of this anymore. They blame everyone else. They take zero accountability. You have almost no woman that says, I was a feminist. I chose to be a feminist. These were decisions I made. You know, I was a I was a type of person who was hating on all men. I did these. Nope. They never do that. They immediately begin blaming men or they blame feminists or they blame everyone else but themselves. You're going to have a woman who she got pregnant and then she decided to get rid of it. And then years later, now she's playing a conservative. You know, she's born again and she gets on the Internet and says that it wasn't her fault. It was Planned Parenthood's fault because they didn't really explain anything to her. It's like, sweetie, you didn't know the difference. You were an adult when this happened. You weren't a teenager. You were an adult. I was only 21. Oh, yeesh. And then she goes, she does this, and she, she seems to think that, you know, she had no real role in it. Like, okay, maybe I was kind of wrong, but it wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. It was the people who did it. It was the people who actually did it, who actually got rid of it for me. Or if they take a pill that can that can turn that that can also help them get rid of it, allow them to get rid of it. It wasn't my fault. I didn't get rid of it. The pill got rid of it. The people who manufactured the pill are responsible for getting rid of it. And the people who sold me the pill are responsible for selling me the pill that got rid of it. I'm a victim of these people, and I'm a victim of society. And they continue to maintain the same mindset and narrative. Because we live in a society of powerful victims today, where being a victim is extremely profitable. And it comes with a significant amount of power. Because now you can use that and wield that power to destroy others. And if anyone challenges you, you simply say that they are that they are that they hate you. They hate you and they hate people who are like you. And you shame them into submission because if you shame them, if you say that they're that they're this or that, they can lose their job, they can be socially ostracized, you know, they can be psychologically damaged, which is the goal. And when women do this, they're met with tons of rewards, money, fame, influence. Influence gives you, and what does influence provide? Power. Today, the path to success is no longer hard work. The path to success is only fools or HR. Going to HR and saying, yeah, Jake from uh, Jake from IT, he gave, you know, he 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 glanced in my direction. He, he, he was he kept staring at me and I didn't like it. I felt unsafe. And yeah, I, I need money. I need money. You know, Jake needs to go and I need money. A uh, couple, couple, you know, a couple million dollars should do it. We're not giving you million, a couple million dollars. A couple hundred thousand dollars should do it. A couple hundred thousand dollars should do it. And, you know, you, you listen, you either pay me or you pay the attorneys, all right? You either pay me or you pay the attorneys. So it's it's one way or another, all right? Because the, the attorneys, you know, they, they're going to have a field day, all right? 400,000. You know, you know what? Make it five. Make it five. 500,000. And, uh, I will I will call it even. We'll call it even. And you know, Jake, Jake needs Jake needs to learn his lesson because he had no business glancing at me. And you know, someone goes, uh, you, you 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 do know Jake is legally blind, right? Yeah, I, I listen to me. As far as I'm concerned, he could clearly see he could clearly see me. All right, because he was staring at me. Uh, he's kind of cross-eyed. Again, again, you don't want this lawsuit. You don't want this lawsuit. You need to deal with Jake and cut me my check as soon as possible because I already have my trips booked in advance, all right? I've already booked those trips. I'm counting on that money, all right? Don't make this difficult. Don't make this difficult. Like, it's it's basically legal extortion. What women are doing in Western society is legal extortion, claiming things like harassment and not even just like, oh, he harassed me. Oh, he hurt, like, I was harassed by these people and I reported it, and the CEO of the company didn't do anything about it, so the CEO of the company needs to be removed. That's literally what happened to the Uber CEO. He had no contact with 
any of the employees, and there were evidently some some women at the company who reported harassment, and because the CEO didn't take action, he was forced out of the company. You heard me right. He had nothing to do. He did not mess with anyone at the company. And by the way, the CEO doesn't run the company. The company is run by the president, president or chief or chief operations officer. You have the C the CEO is the person who focuses on the future of the company. The chief operations officer, or also known as the president, that's the person who focuses on the day-to-day -day operations of the company. So saying that the CEO is supposed to address this is an absolute joke. I'm telling you guys, it is unbelievable what's happened in modern day society. And women have done irreparable harm to men. And there are going to be those who say that you need to either man up or it's bull crap or that my video is what's doing harm because I'm trying to divide people because they don't want me to speak. They don't want me to speak. All right. They don't want this message out there. Men can't handle anymore. Men cannot take anymore. A lot of guys, they can't. There are some guys who went to the Philippines and they were healed. A lot of guys can't do that. They can never trust again. They can never peer bond again. And there are those people who are listening right now. Those are not talking about Jesus can fix anything. Oh, God. And I just get tired and frustrated because it's like talking to morons. You know, like talking to talking to absolute idiots. Right, what do you guys think about this? I want to hear your thoughts regarding this. And by the way, guys, if you're enjoying my content, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications. Never miss another video again. I like the video because it tells YouTube. If you're enjoying the content, you want to see more of it, so YouTube will show you more. What do you guys think about this? Why modern women have done irreparable harm to men? You know my thoughts, but I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. So let's talk about it there. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA. Men walking away. And cheers.